Hi, I'm Nicholas Johnson. Today we're going to be talking about some of the customization features that you can use depending on what type of ride you would like going down the road in your CT6V. The first selectable mode is that of Sport, designated by the checkered flag in the top right position of the DIC above the tachometer. This changes the dynamics of the car for a more performance enhanced feel, including feedback on the steering wheel, a stiffer suspension, as well as longer shift points in the tachometer. Also, it changes the dynamics of the power distribution of the all-wheel drive mechanism. On the default setting of Tour, you have 40% of the power going to the front while 60% is in the rear. That is now changed to 20% of that in the front and 80% of that power in the rear. The second selectable setting is that of track, designated by the checkered flag inside of the race oval. From here, feedback on the steering wheel is increased to its maximum option, as well as stiffens the suspension to its highest setting. From here also, the shift points are further upgraded to be longer and more drawn out for more torque availability on the rear wheels. Also, the all-wheel drive mechanism is edited so that from the previous of the 20% to 80% is now at 5% to the front and 95% into the back. While in track mode, the suspension is in its stiffest setting, increasing the risk of damaging both wheel and suspension parts if it were to incur a hard bump on commercial roadways. That is why it is highly suggested that you only use this mode on specialized surfaces or tracks. In addition to driving modes, the user can select certain stability options such as traction control to be off. This allows the vehicle to provide as much wheel spin as the driver wants without the computer interrupting it. The location for this, when it is in the off mode, is next to the driving selector mode emblem on the top right of the DIC. Another stability setting that can be edited is that of the stable track system, specifically in the competitive mode. When it is in competitive mode, it effectively shuts down all stable track systems. In order to enable it, double press the traction control button twice. You should be graded with an information supplement in the DIC, as well as to confirm that the traction control emblem is in the off position while on the far right of the DIC, you should confirm that the stable track emblem is now in the off position. Please be aware that while inside of this selected mode, the computer will not intervene in any way to recover the car if it senses that it is experiencing understeer or oversteer. It is highly suggested that you be an experienced driver and understand the dynamics of the car and are currently on a specialized road or track before enabling it. To re-enable these systems, simply press the traction control button once. Inside of the DIC, you should receive an information supplement confirming your action. Also make sure that both emblems are now not illuminated. The final selection that a user can make is that of snow and ice, designated by the snow flurries emblem in the top right of the DIC above the tachometer. From here, any performance variants that have been activated for the driver enhancement are disabled, as well as traction control options are increased, such that a power limit calibration has been activated. Its suggested use is in snow, rain, or icy conditions and help the vehicle maintain stability in these common road conditions. I hope the video was educational as it was helpful. More tips on how to activate some of the cool hidden features that you may or may not know about about your CT6V coming up shortly here on the channel. Stay tuned and as always if you have any questions, comments, or concerns feel free to reach out to me in the comments or in private messages. Ride safe.